Today, we are going to talk about how to set the access control module on Hike Central Professional and how to manage the devices. This video will cover the following steps, configuration and application. Now we are going to start. Log in to the web client. We provide two options to help you start access control settings. Number one, click the access control letters on the visualization pictures and follow the steps displayed in access control module. Number two, back to the homepage and follow the wizard steps. In this video, we will start with wizard to guide the access control settings. Step one, add device. Click add or choose the online device which is in the same LAN network with Hike Central Professional Server. Input the device name, username, and password. And then define the resource information. Import some or all the doors to Hike Central Professional. Click Restore Default if you need. After restoring default, all parameters configured will be restored to default settings. Step 2. Manage Person List. Click Person. Hike Central Professional supports batch work to manage person. Import an Excel file. Import by importing profiles, import the main person and import from device. In this video, we will introduce import an Excel file to you. Download the template to edit person information. Read the tips first before you edit the information. Type the person name. Add the person group. Please add all persons and before the group name. Type other information if you need. Go back to web client and import the Excel file. You will find the person in the person group. Click person name and add to issue or modify card or fingerprint credential. Multiple devices are optional, such as card enrollment station, enrollment station and card reader. In this video, we will use card reader to issue one more card. Select the door and reader. Then put your card on the reader and you will find card number displayed, so does the fingerprint part. Click save to save the information. All right, that's how we manage person parts. Now let's move to step three, permission settings. Add and assign access level. Go to access control module, access level. Click add to set the doors and allowable access time as new access level. If you need a new access level, please click new access schedule template to set a new one. Rename the schedule and draw the allowable time period. Now let's assign the new level to the person we just add. Click assign by access level and assign to choose the person and click add. Apply Access Level Settings option to apply the new level to your device. Accept Assign by Access Level. You can also assign the new level by person, assign the new level by person group, or assign the new level by access group. Alright, that's how we make basic configurations for access control. If you need to check whether the permissions have been applied successfully, you can go to Troubleshooting to have a check. You can have a look about the credential status, such as person who has no card or fingerprint credential, etc. And device status, such as arming status and exception details. If you want to check a specific person's credential, please select person and choose person or visitor type. For example, let's check one from Hike Staff Group and click Check Now. You can see the permission applied successfully. All right, that's the device configuration. Now let's go to the application Door Control. First, let's go to Real-Time Monitoring. You can control the door status on Web Client. Click the door and choose to unlock and lock it. And if you need to unlock all doors, Click All or Part. If someone is using his or her credential to open the door, you will see records displayed. Click the option in the records and page will guide you to the research part. In search part, you can find device required data and access record retrieval. 
you can even export the records. Check the records with Excel file after export. Now, let's see how does the access control work with map function. If you need to check the status of door on the map, please go to map settings. Find the area and upload plan picture for the area. And then put the door on the map. After settings, please go to map monitoring to check how does it work with map function. Select your area and find the map. You will see the records when there has card swiping. You can also control the door status on the map, such as unlock and lock the door. Alright, that's how we centrally manage access control device on Hike Central Professional. Thanks for watching. Hike Central Professional Versatile Security in one platform.